everyone, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing empties for the month of June. I'm going to start with my little book here. Um, okay, so I did my normal monthly totals in. It was only $25, which is really good. That was um, my Ipsy bag and then some things from my Fat Fit Fun, the TARDIS Pro Glow Palette, which I don't think is really going to work for me. But that was $5, you know, when you break it all down. Um, Kula sunscreen and a Lemis facial peel. That's all in the video. I'll try to link it up there. I think it's that side. I think it's that side, right? That side? One of them. And then out was $131.64, which is awesome. So that was a net out of $106.64. And then I went back through and I did, um, you can see here at the bottom, I did for the whole year so far, six months mark. In, and a lot of this was April with the 15% um, off Sephora VIB sale. I didn't really get anything from 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta, but a few things I think. But mostly was that Sephora VIB sale. That was the biggest thing. Um, everything else was like, oh, 50, oh, 20, oh, 75. And then April was like 300. April was a very expensive month. Um, but in for the whole year so far, in six months, I've brought in $514.99 worth of product. But I put out, using up, $771.46. Which is a net out, so yay! I'm net out instead of like in, net out of $256.47. So that's 47, yeah, 47. That's pretty awesome, you know, $256 out for the year instead of, oops, knock things down. $256 out so far. I'm hoping that. Net wise, I can be at least $250 for the next six months net out. Um, we'll see, we'll just have to see. I don't really know how it's all gonna go, but we're just gonna have to see. Okay, empties. I finished up a thing of q tips, the 750 pack. I always just get the big one because honestly, the difference between like 500 or 200 really isn't that big when you just keep it under the sink. Um, and then it lasts, I don't know, last me what? When's the last time I bought one of these? I don't even remember. 10 months ago-ish? They last me probably a good 9 to 10 months of these. Um, and you know, use them for ears and other things and... Yeah, yeah, Q-tips. I don't know why I'm spending so long. Oh yeah, I mean I get, I get the name brand Q-tips because they're paper, which means they are compostable. Don't get the plastic ones, even if they're, I mean, this is like three dollars. It's really not that much money. Anyway, and then another thing of probiotics because I always have those. And then this is actually my second to last candle. Now I do have a bunch of these that I like melted down and made into cute shapes so I could use with a, it's right there actually, a wax melt thing. I've decided less candles, but I still want like scent and light. So wax melt just seems... I don't know, whatever. I have one candle left from a previous FabFitFun and then that's my last candle and I'm probably not gonna buy any more until, unless someone gives them to me. But this is the Sea Salt Vanilla, which I love this set. It's just so good. Um, I finished up this deodorant mostly, but like it fell out. Like I was using it. Okay, of course now it's not gonna come out. But I was using it and like it fell out and like it got on the floor and it's got like kitty litter in it now and I don't need that in my life. I don't need kitty litter deodorant. I'm I'm good. I just threw something on the floor. I need to go get that. So this is done. Um, I'm using the native deodorant but that one kind of like tears up my underarms. I want to like it but it's not so good for my underarms. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Let's move on to hair care type things. I finished up the Beauty, Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle. This is like my favorite detangling leave-in conditioner. And it freaking smells so good. It just smells so good in your hair. And then this is the 
living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo I don't like this stuff I have tried it many times and like the first half of the bottle is great and it's like three spritzes and your hair is like fresh and alive and dry for like two days you, you like can extend the life of your hair for so long but then it stops working and like it kind of works but like I feel like no matter how much you shake it at the beginning, you're still going to use up, like, most of the active ingredient. Whichever it is. It's cornstarch, maybe. I don't know. But, like, you're going to use that up way sooner than all the rest of, like, the oils and the scent and the whatnot. And so, the last week or two of using this, and this is just, like, the mini size. Not the sample mini, but, like, the regular mini that they sell. It's just... Your hair is like oily and like a little bit dry, but mostly like it's just oily and they're like this literally is doing the opposite of what I wanted to do. So there's that. Um, little shampoo, argan oil and Morocco from OGX. I do like this, but I am moving towards solid shampoos and like solid, moving towards more solid things, less packaging. Um, so yeah. That's actually, this is actually like my last liquid shampoo and once it is gone, because I have a little container in the shower that I dump it all into, once it is gone, I'm going to be using my last shampoo bar and I'm really excited to try that. Um, this little hair balm I got in a Sephora, Ipsy, Birchbox, one of those. It's Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm, IGK. It was fine. It didn't really do too much, but it was fine. This I know is from Sephora. This is the, I'm pretty sure Sephora. Can you? This is the Caviar Anti-Aging for your hair. Uh, Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist Spray Volume from Alterna. It kind of worked, but it didn't like, which is, I don't know, you say volume. I expect my roots to like be flying, but they weren't, whatever. Uh, little skincare packets. I used up, I took these on vacation with me. This is um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. It was fine. It wasn't anything I would purchase. And this was the Clinique Moisture Surge, which I do have the big size of and I love the Moisture Surge. It's just really, really nice and refreshing. Um, let's do perfumes because I have a lot of them. So I've been using up my little perfumes, like the little sample ones. So I have the, hey, 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 not the carpet. You got scratch of things instead of the carpet. This is um, Givenchy Eau de Moiselle. Eau de, Eau, Eau de Moiselle. Okay. Um, it's okay. I think it's the one I'm using. I don't know. It's, it's okay. This is Victor and Roth Flower Balm. I love this. I actually like bought a mini of it because I love it so much. This is Mir Solanotes. It was okay, nothing to write home about. This was Stella McCartney and Pop. I love Stella McCartney Pop. I have a, again, a mini size that I bought last year. Like, I have that before this. I was just like, oh yeah, a little mini one. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue I have. I got it as a point perk, actually, the little deluxe size. I like the light blue. This is Replica Maison Margiela. Margiela. It was okay. I don't think this is one that I really liked. This is... Oh, no, this isn't a perfume. I thought this was a perfume, but okay, here's a little bit of makeup. Um, this is actually a lip liner. I think this is the Nude from Lipstick Queen. It, uh, you know, it all fell off. I used it all up, and it was just a mini size anyway. Other makeup, though, this is from J. Manuel Beauty. This is, I forget what it's called, but it's like the dust highlighter thing goes on your body. I actually popped the cap off, you know, like it has a brush with it, and you use it. I actually, oh, and look, see, there's still some in there. It's really too dark for, like, my face because I was an idiot when I bought it, even though it's really, really pretty. Um, I actually mixed it in with a lotion. I popped the cap off and, like, mixed it in with a lotion. So, technically, I used this up. Wow, that's, like, a lot. Wow, I am bronzy now. Okay, um, and then, so this one is debatable using up, but I am getting rid of it. It is the Tarte. Uh, make believe in yourself palette that like everyone was raving about last year and I do like a lot of the colors but I really kind of wish I hadn't bought it just because yeah but I depotted it it was actually really easy to depot this 
little tray pops out pretty easily. If you've got those little metal spatulas, it's great. And then I just did each shade with my um, hair strainer and it just rest it on there while I was watching YouTube and just rest it on there for a minute maybe and then pops out super easy peasy and you can see I let it sit for longer and longer on like the later parts that I was going and I did not take the highlighter because this highlighter does not do jack diddly squat so yeah the packaging is gone it all they're all in um, a couple different palettes all the shades that I kept which is all the shades except for that highlighter um, so I can use them up that way I think I'll probably do a bit better um, and then lip products this Hannah Lay lip treatment in mauve pink I got but I just it's fine I guess but it's like a tinted lip balm that and I used it on a trip and you know like when you blend it away it blends to like a barely nothing which is fine but it just wasn't doing anything for my lips I think it was actually drying my lips out so I stopped using it and I'm just gonna no I'm just gonna get rid of it and then this is Jack Black the stick I love this this is my bajillion one since like a year and a half ago when I started using it love it love it love it um and then let's see let's throw these in the q-tip container because why not then I used up a belief Aqua Bomb True Cream. Love this stuff. It's great stuff, but I don't know if I'll purchase it. Maybe, maybe not. It's similar to the Clinique Moisture Surge, but a little bit different. I think I like the Clinique more. And then this is Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Cream. It came with the green tea seed. Came when I bought like little kits because um, it was the same price for a bottle of the serum and to get a serum and this and a cleanser for free so I was like check yeah I'll get the kit it's literally the same price I don't like this as much as I was hoping I would I was really hoping I would like this it's a bit I don't know it's a bit heavy but like not in a good way it's like almost almost right it's not really enough to be a good hydrator for me I suppose I don't know um cleanser -y things this is a little sample and it's free center I still have this stuff um it's good though this actually I really really like and I might consider purchasing this purchasing this this is their um pore clearing facial foam with volcanic cluster I really liked this hi pepper honey I really really liked this cleanser it was really good this little pack it lasted me like two or three weeks because I only use it in the morning um this was really good. I would consider purchasing the full size of this when I next make an order from Innisfree. Also because I need to use up some cleansers. Finally, I use up this scrub from Seraphine Botanicals. It was an orange and cream lip polish. I'm just not a lip polish person. I use it all up. I just don't really exfoliate my lips separately from the rest of my face. It's just not a thing I do. I just like exfoliate my whole face. If I feel, oh my lips are a little crusty. A little extra dry maybe I'll extra focus on them but I'm not gonna like I don't often only do my lips if that makes sense and then this um, we've got two toners here this is the number seven beautiful skin soothing toner for dry very dry skin do really like this however I was reading an article and it kind of resonated with me that um, ginger you're like in the way honey bun if you're using a serum it should be doing something for you it shouldn't just be like making your face wet it was like an article from um or like i quoted what's what are skin people estheticians estheticians and they're like if you have a uh not a serum but if you have like a toner that is actually doing something for your skin and you find it beneficial okay but in the way you're gonna have to not be right here but you're so cute like that's okay if it's actually doing something for your skin but like this one just makes my face wet and I'm gonna put moisturizer on right away so I decanted it into a little thing because again this doesn't have like a little drippy dropper thing it's just a giant asshole um, so I decanted it into a little thing and it's almost all gone and then I don't think I'm gonna purchase it again I don't think I will and this I thought this was gonna be way better than it was this is super heavy there's no reason for it to be this heavy because this container is 
very very heavy and I thought I was like yeah this holds a ton of shit it doesn't this is the Tarte knockout tingling tr treatment formulated to exfoliate balance and minimize appearance of pores all that stuff has hurt me I do not appreciate this some people say it works great for them maybe if you've got oilier skin or more problematic skin this might help but it didn't do anything for me right now I'm trying out the Glossier solution is what they call it I, I've only like been using it for like two weeks so I can't really tell but uh, we'll see mask wise okay so this one is a mini of the Bosha charcoal pore pudding love this stuff I kept this to like decant some to take but I recently got another um, mini and as like a hundred point perk so I'm getting rid of this container because I don't need that many containers that are this big because this is like 25 mils, 0.84 of an ounce. So I don't need many containers that are this size because, like, most things I need aren't like that big, if that makes sense. So, getting rid of this, even though it's a good size container, but I've got another one. Don't need this. This is a little Gold Fat and MD um, facial detox clarifying and clear mask with, um, excuse me, zinc oxide and sulfur and camphor. Definitely it smelled like sulfur, which, you know, it says it's in there, so that was fine. But, um, I don't really know how much this actually, like, drew out bacteria and pore clogging debris. Uh, it was fine. It was fine. I used it. It only has to sit for, like, 10-15 minutes. I liked it. Like, it worked fine. It did its job. Um, it is very white. It does kind of leave a white residue on your towels, but you know what? You wash your towels. Anyway, this is also from Innistree. It's like the same pore care line. This is the pore clearing clay mask with super volcanic cluster. This I didn't like as much as a cleanser. I prefer the Bosha charcoal pore pudding to this. Um, you know, like a gray mask that dries after like 15, 20 minutes. It was fine. It was fine. I was, it did its job. My mom liked it. I took it on vacation. We both did it. Then I had, I think I had about three uses because I did one on me one on her and then like one on me again maybe maybe two more after that so maybe four uses in that little pack um yeah it was fine it was great I mean like I wouldn't repurchase it but it worked if you like those kind of masks sure try it this is from fresh it's another mask this is a lotus lotus youth preserve rescue mask with seaweed radiance facial it has that like almost camellia smell and I don't like that scent um but this was like a hydrating kind of mask that has little clusters of stuff that like exfoliate so it was, it was like a bigger exfoliant but it was more gentle because it was like in a moisture mask and you're supposed to like slather it on and let it sit for five minutes and then rub it all the way and wash it down it was fine it wasn't anything spectacular I've used other hydrating masks like Mandalay Thousand Roses that I like better but you know it worked okay so um that was all my empties I hope you guys enjoyed Whew. still took like almost 20 minutes but you know I talk a lot it's kind of what I do so I'm actually gonna go over to my parents house and help them clean out the room because the kitchen and bathroom reno is done and now it's time to like reorganize everything and also clean up the house but guess who has to do everything only child kind of kind of have to all right everyone I hope you have a great day have a good week and we are almost halfway through the July almost halfway through July kind of sort of and I'm really unhappy because last summer took forever and I loved it and this summer is flying past and I am truly disappointed because I really really wanted to like chill out this summer but I think all the stress from the kitchen reno is like <sighs> done it's just time to clean and organize and that's kind of fun all right I will see you all another time I'm gonna again since it is summer I'm trying to wrap up the posting and the filming of the videos and I will see you all sometime soon have a great day have a good week and have fun and be happy and be healthy and as always what am I gonna say go pet a cat bye